It was a deadly year for Indiana workers killed on the job. Eight of them died between September of last year and April of this year. Tonight, 13 Investigates uncovers something you might not know about. You see, even if your employer puts you in danger, you can't sue for workplace injuries or even death. Our Sandra Chapman has a story of one Indiana woman struggling to make sense of a law that protects employers. The indoor pool is an advertised feature at the Hampton Inn in Marion. When chips of ceiling debris started falling into the water in April 2016, management wanted a quick fix. Myron Fisher, the hotel's maintenance man, was told to take care of it. Now his wife, Jolda, is left with the devastating impact of a dangerous workplace assignment. He was on a ladder and fell. According to the Indiana Department of Labor, the 68-year-old was hanging a 10-foot by 12-foot tarp above the drain pool to catch the debris. He was working alone and using an unextended 12-foot section of a 24-foot aluminum ladder when he fell to his death. He was found hours later in the empty pool. It makes me angry. I'm so, I cry all the time, you know, I, especially when I think of him falling, you know, being in there by himself, and for them not to even say sorry about it. Jolda Fisher says no one from the Hampton Inn or its parent company, U.S. Hospitality, LLC, apologized or explained what happened. I mean, he died. It's not like he's hurt and he's still here. He's dead, you know. How can that be okay? It's not right. The Indiana Occupational Health and Safety Administration investigated Fisher's death. IOSHA cited and fined the hotel for three safety violations, one of them serious. Inspectors said U.S. hospitality failed to establish and maintain conditions which were reasonably safe and healthful and free from hazards likely to cause death or serious physical harm. Specifically, the company exposed workers to fall hazards with no ladder safety training. There's no way around. It's just negligence on their part, and I feel they need to pay for it. But there's just one catch. In Indiana, employers cannot be sued for on-the-job injuries or even a worker's death, no matter how egregious or negligent the company's actions. Employers are protected by the workers' comp exclusivity remedy. They can't be sued. That's a shock. That comes Stephen shock. Wagner is a personal injury attorney experienced in workers' compensation. He says the exclusivity remedy means widows like Jolda will get only burial costs, final medical bills paid, and two-thirds of their spouse's wages for 10 years. Nothing more. You know, this is for the rest of my life that he's not here. And they just, to me, get off scot-free with not having to do anything with his death. Indiana is among the worst in the country for work comp benefits. Uh, across the board, uh, it's stacked in the employer's favor. We've made a, a policy decision in this state to favor business over uh, individuals and individual safety. Wagner says worse yet, there's no motivation for companies to change to prevent future accidents either. Even when IOSHA steps in to fine a business, it's often negotiated down. In Myron Fisher's death, Fines total $4,800, but 13 investigates discovered U.S. hospitality ended up paying just half. A man lost his life, and they pay $2,400, which is like nothing. Wouldn't even cover the funeral. That was my husband, you know, and he means so much to me, and I still can't get over it. I just can't let it go. You know, I just want to fight until something gets resolved. Tonight, the hotel manager would not speak on camera, but told us the case was thoroughly investigated. The file closed and no violations at the hotel at this time. Jolda Wagner is still trying to find a loophole, though. The only option in many of these cases is to sue a third party for things like faulty products, John. So why do some Indiana attorneys believe the laws are so tilted toward the employers? There are several reasons. They say the employer gets to pick your doctors. Payouts are less than payouts in other states, and Indiana does not recognize permanent partial disability. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if a worker is injured or dies as a result of his or her own negligence or mistake, the same work comp payouts are given. So in some instances, John, they consider this some sort of a trade-out yeah. uh, for the companies. All right. Thank you, Sandra.